Well, hey guys, I uh, am Lena Evajamra. If we haven't met, good to meet you. I'm wearing my Levi's America t-shirt in honor of the recent celebration of July 4th. I don't know if that's why, but I have it on. Anyway, big week for us today. We are launching a lot of different endeavors in July, so we're pretty excited. We're gonna be launching registration for the retreat center, uh, I think today uh, or this week, and then we're doing uh, the, the, the pre-sales um, for our book in a couple of weeks, and then the launch team we're recruiting. So if you're interested in being a member of our launch team, you get the free ebook. Uh, sign up. That's going to be going out in the next few days. So I'm going to remind you of all these things, but today we're going to take a minute and talk about God's love for us in today's Power Minute, which is a one-minute devotional that I share with you every day, Monday to Friday, in one minute. All right? So here we go. Today's Power Minute is called Taste and See. Our verse is Psalm 34, 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. What's the best thing you've ever tasted? Was it an exotic fruit or an unbelievable dessert? Who doesn't love to taste good stuff? Whether it's a memorable meal or something your mom made over the holidays, you and I can spend the next 10 years reminiscing over something great we tasted. God understands the reality of taste so much because in Psalm 34, 8, he used the analogy of taste to remind us of his goodness. He inspired David to write, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Like a great meal you cannot forget that makes your mouth water, even thinking about it right now, God's goodness is something to yearn for, to dream about, and to experience fully over and over again. The only way to taste God's goodness is by taking refuge in Him. That's where true peace is found. In His presence is fullness of joy. Think about this question today. In what practical steps are you taking refuge in God's presence today? As you reminisce over God's ways, how have you tasted of his goodness in this season of your life? I find that we're really good at remembering what God has done years ago, maybe when we first accepted him as our savior, but maybe today in this season, in this week, in this month, can you take some time and draw about the goodness and the overflow of blessing that you've tasted of God? Maybe you haven't thought about it. Maybe it's been a foreign notion to you because you're bogged down by all of the pressure in your life. Listen, all over your life is signs of his goodness. Take some time and see it today. Hey, I love you guys. I'm praying for you. Exciting stuff. Keep track of our feed. We'll be putting stuff about all of the great things that are coming. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow.